Hi, my name's Jeff. As some of you might be watching my YouTube page, you'll know that I'm building my first plank on bulkhead tall ship model. So, bought it at my local hobby shop, and it's the USS Independence 1775. It's a two masted ship, and it was one of the, I just it just inter interested me because it was one of the uh, great ships that started our fleet. I don't know a lot about tall ships and my enthusiasm is growing and as it grows I learn more. This is a plank on bulkhead kit. It came, it's all laser cut and I've taken the advice from other people to take the pieces and actually number them with the parts that are corresponding to each one on the plans they give you. Just with a little number in the back somewhere you're not going to see it. So once you're, you know where to put them you can stick them in there, glue them, if it falls out or something, you know where it came from. Um, after that was put on, I did some rough sanding and I sanded my edges so they would actually fit the pieces of plank that roll around here up into the front and this is all shaped and sanded, hand sanded. I didn't use anything with the Dremel tool yet because uh, I'm not real sure about how it's going to fit and I don't want to grind it down. I put the planks on the deck next and I actually just laid straight pieces down and I used my white tacky glue which really did a nice job of drying clear and without lumps and I left all my pieces straight and then I trimmed them to fit and gave them a light sanding on the edges. Uh, after I did that I started on the bulkhead planks here that are on the outside and all I did was cut them long, glue each one into place, and then trim it so you can't see that they, they were sloppily put into place. Uh, the ship itself, you don't get a lot of time to work on a couple hours a day, uh, but not every day because I work a full-time job. I picked up some small tools to stew it with, make the model with, and that's some tweezers that were bent, some straight tweezers, some plastic clamps, plastic bar clamps. These are really nice. They were a couple of bucks a piece and uh, they slide open and close and you have a little trigger on them. Um, they hold everything into place well. The other thing that I did pick up uh, just because it was made convenience and gave me an excuse to buy it was a full Dremel set um, which I plan to use for other things but it was just a you know I need it tool so my wife would let me buy it <laughs> um, I have other and hobby things I'm into which are train platforms and plastic models but this is my first wooden model I'm looking forward to see how it turns out I plan to add some cargo into this model into the, where the cargo holds are so when you look down inside from the top you'll see some barrels and some chain or something just to get a little more authenticity the one thing I have found with these models is uh, that paying attention to detail is very important and it makes all the difference in the world all the little significant detail is what will make this model look authentic I, I obviously can't do a museum quality piece but I certainly can have a really nice model when I'm finished. Um, if you want to see some really, really, really nice models, I highly recommend that you go to www.tallshipsofsanfrancisco.com and see Steve Prisky's website. Um, beautiful, beautiful models, museum quality, most of them built from scratch. Other than that, I'll keep posting YouTube series and documentaries of my first ship please feel free to comment and pass your ideas on i hope you find some enthusiasm maybe you'll want to build your own thanks for watching